Okay, I am here on the Samuel Pitzer farm, also on the farm that contained Samuel Pitzer's schoolhouse, which was just over there in the distance. Now this house is a, a, a old stone house. It's been covered up with weatherboard, but the house itself was built in 1794 along with the summer kitchen and the smokehouse. Now the only thing on the summer kitchen that's still the original is the chimney that you see here. Um, this was owned by a man named Samuel Pitzer um, during the Battle of Gettysburg in 1863, and he had a 20-year-old son. Now, of course, on July, July 2nd, 1863, troops under Longstreet and also parts of Anderson's Division, Wolford's Brigade, and Barksdale's Brigade bivouacked to the rear of the house here on the farm where you see the cattle here today um, and I've done videos on Wolford's advancement here and his movements as well as Barksdale uh, near his wounding so this would take place just before the attack of July 2nd. Now the barn that you see there, it's actually being restored and it was built, and it's a very large barn, it was built in the year 1806. So the house, smokehouse, and summer kitchen are all from 1794, making it one of the older houses here in Gettysburg. The barn was built in 1806. And of course, today this is part um, of the Gettysburg National Military Park where they do restorations at. A lot of the restorations uh, of different buildings originate here from this house. Um, at one time this house was actually part of President Eisenhower's estate which is just over the ridge this direction here. Now one interesting story about Mr. Pitzer's son Samuel M. Pitzer uh, at the age of 20 on July 2nd 1863 he was one of the few Gettysburg civilians seized by Confederate troops. And he writes, I was taken on the second day of July in 1863 and returned home on the 15th day of March 1865. My full term in prison being 20 months and 13 days. I was taken at Pitzer Schoolhouse, not far from where I was born. My uncle George Patterson was w with me when I was taken by rebel sharpshooters that were hiding behind the schoolhouse. They did not find any firearms on us and assured us that we would not be held after a hearing. We were taken to Major Fairfax and he said it was too late in the evening and put it off till morning. The next day, of course, the defeat occurred and we were taken to Virginia. So Samuel M. Pitzer, who was the son of Samuel Pitzer, was taken here, uh, not far from here rather, at Pitzer's schoolhouse. Now Pitzer's schoolhouse sat just on the other side of the house um, and actually it was also used on July 2nd, 1863 as General James Longstreet's headquarters for a brief time. And if you go back and watch the video that I did uh, two weeks ago on Longstreet's headquarters and the secret that the monument reveals that it was in a schoolhouse about 800 yards uh, from not far where the Longstreet Tower sits today. Again, this is a very beautiful farm and barn that's being restored. Uh, the house is a very historic house being built in 1794. Uh, it sits here along Willoughby Run and it's a part of the second day's battlefield, primarily the second day's battlefield here. This has been the Samuel Pitzer Farm and Schoolhouse on Gettysburg Battlefield Facebook. Okay, this is going to be the Samuel Pitzer Farm and Schoolhouse Part 2 on Gettysburg Battlefield Facebook. We're going to take a little look here at the smokehouse. This is the original smokehouse from 1794. Um, and when we look inside, you can still see some of the charred marks from where the, the smoke came out. And as we've seen on the Kearns Farm video uh, and talked about, the smokehouse um, allowed them to smoke all their meat. And it had holes drilled where the smoke could escape. This one's in really good shape. As we said earlier in part one, the only thing left from the summer kitchen um, is the 
fireplace itself. Now, a summer kitchen was designed in the summertime for people to cook uh, out here away from the main edifice of the house. That would keep the heat level down in the house. The meals would be prepared here in the summer kitchen, the smokehouse, of course, being very nearby. Um, where the where the meats could be smoked and of course here working on the farm with cattle you had your your uh, plentiful amount of meats here um, one thing we didn't talk a, a lot about was the schoolhouse now the schoolhouse sat over here um, where the Millerstown pump and station road stop sign is here in the distance um, just on the right side of that stop sign just over here in the field sat um, Samuel Pitzer's schoolhouse and it was a one room schoolhouse um, early schooling of course uh, schooling in the uh, public schooling rather in the Gettysburg area went back to the 1830s so um, just and, and back then it was very simple it was a few local families children who would meet in a one room schoolhouse and basically just be taught the simple basics of life mathematics and science, uh, writing and reading, learning your letters and numbers. It wasn't the educational system that we have today. Um, and it was near, somewhere between where I'm standing now and the schoolhouse. Uh, according to Samuel M. Pitzer, he was caught behind the schoolhouse and taken prisoner. So it was right here in this area on July 2nd, 1863. Um, that Samuel M. Pitzer, the 20-year-old son of Samuel Pitzer, was taken uh, prisoner uh, as a civilian, one of the few Gettysburg civilians to be taken prisoner. And one other thing we touched on, President Eisenhower, uh, when he decided to purchase property here in Gettysburg, um, he, dis he part of the property that he purchased was this farm as well as what we know as the Eisenhower Historic Farm today. Uh, this was at one time part of the Eisenhower uh, National Historic Site and uh, today it's owned uh, by the National Park Service and used as the headquarters for all the restorations that go on. This has been part two of the Samuel Pitzer Farm and Samuel Pitzer Schoolhouse.